This is page 136, exercise 11, table 11-1. And these are basically your features of the animal phyla. All right, so, so basically what I just did with the walking run through there is looking at the features of the animal phyla. So we have all of the representative phylums here on the far left. We look at germ layer symmetry, gut type for feeding, body cavities that hold the organs, are they segmented or not, and then representative examples, which are in the text and were on uh, what you saw in the video. So on the germ layers, we're looking at only a cellular level of organization for periphera with flagellated collar cells, the choanocytes. There's um, a two tissue layer for cnidarian, um, an ectoderm and endoderm. And then uh, starting with uh, platyhelminthes, you've got all three tissue types. And that follows through on the rest of the phylums all the way through echinodermata. Uh, then the next feature that we use for um, uh, basically putting them into their phylums in addition to the way they develop early with protostome or deuterostome is body symmetry. What kind of body symmetry do they have? Well, periphera has no body symmetry. Um, Cnidarians have radial symmetry, and all of the other groups have bilateral symmetry, with the quirky little exception of echinodermata, which is bilateral as a larva, but radial as an adult. Then the next feature of animal phyla is the feeding. Um, this is what, what kind of gut type do they have? So we basically say with periphera that they have a central cavity. It's no gut, so to speak. Um, a cnidaria, they have sort of a gastric cavity that's sac-like. And then on platyhelminthes, there's no mouth and no formal gastric cavity. It's a, sort of a feeding tube and they have a pharynx. Then we pick up with a complete digestive system with nematoda going through mollusca, annelida, arthropoda, and echinodermata. Then body cavity, which the word we use is coelom, C-O-E-L-O-M. The body cavity type is, there is no body cavity in uh, either periphera or cnidarian. There is, uh, when you start to get three tissue layers in a phylum, then you start using the word coelom one way or another. So when we get the three tissue types in platyhelminthes, but they don't have a body cavity, we call that acelomate. When you still have your three tissue types in nematoda, and they have sort of a half-on body cavity, then we call that pseudocelomate. And then after that, with um, mollusca, annelida, arthropoda, and echinodermata, they're full-on coelom or full body, body cavities for very developed organ systems. And then the last thing that is discussed is segmentation. The only ones that we discuss as having true body segmentation is in phylum annelida and phylum arthropoda. And the other thing that's not in your book would be molting. Phylum arthropods, uh, phylum arthropoda, uh, phylum arthropoda, arthropods molt. Phylum nematoda, molt. And then you can go back for your representative samples back in your lab manual. Okay.